Our next problem solver is not just a topper, but also a foodie at heart who loves to cook junk foods and desserts. And when it comes to studies, he has the perfect recipe. A teaspoon of discipline, a dollop of consistency, and a whole lot of honesty. Ta-da! Your dish is done. Meet Krishang Joshi, All India Rank 3 in NEET UG 2025 and Maharashtra State Topper. Hi Krishang, welcome and congratulations. Thank you ma'am. What inspired you to take up medical as your career? Uh, so first of all, I started my NEET preparation as in I decided to take NEET uh, in my early 10s. Mm -hmm. So what inspired me was that a few family relatives mm -hmm. were doctors were into the medical field and my mother and father also wanted to see me as a doctor because they believed and what I also believe is that doctor can serve the society as an individual. Uh, it's a very noble profession. It holds a very good status in the society. But above all that is that being a doctor, you get to experience something which no money, no status and nor any other profession can give you. Like the patient's smile and the last moments of the patient, it's only left with the doctor. So experiencing that is like an adventure on its own. So being a doctor was uh, something yeah, that inspired me. That is quite profound and I must say very holistically uh, giving you motivation to take up this as your career. So when you saw your rank, All India 3, yeah. what was your reaction? What was your first reaction? Uh, it took me a little bit of time to process. Mm -hmm. I mean, what actually is All India Rank 3, yeah, so I later on realized that All India Rank 3 means only two people are ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah, so initially I was not expecting any rank under 50. Okay. When I gave my exam. Okay. But eventually after a month passed, uh, I got to know the scores of other people and I realized that my marks would secure a rank around top 10. But I was ex estimating a rank of around 8 and 9 mm -hmm. till the last day, 13 okay. June. Okay. But when the, my sir called me and told me uh, that uh, I got rank 3, it was not expected. Yeah, it was some feeling that I can only experience and not tell in words. <laughs> yeah. I can understand that. Okay, now let's talk a little bit uh, of a fun side to you. We know that you're a foodie and we know that you like to cook some junk food. So is there a signature dish that you like to cook often or if you know, whenever your mood allows. I like to cook uh, rasgullas, rasmalai especially. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's one of my favorite sweets. Okay. And who, apart from you in the family, also likes rasgulla? Uh, my father likes, my mother likes. Everybody, everybody likes everybody it. So likes because it. you're making it, everybody has to like it. So you have to eat because you're making with uh, making it with your heart. That's quite sweet. Okay. So apart from food, what else are your hobbies and interests? Uh, so my hobbies include arts like drawing and painting, mm -hmm. but that I did when I was small. Then I do cooking as you said, and I also play a bit of badminton, football, and I'm also a little bit interested in musical instruments. Yeah, that's a, that's a variety of lists that we have in the hobbies, which is fantastic because I'm assuming that during your preparation time also you did a little bit of all of these things or. Oh uh, no, I couldn't do it during my preparation. Okay, but now have you resumed them back? Uh, yes. Little bit? Yes. That's great. Uh, so we we understand, uh, Krishang, that neat preparation can be demanding and overwhelming. Yeah. Did you experience any distractions during this journey? Indeed, I experienced a lot of distractions during my journey, like my mobile phone, my laptop. <laughs> so distractions are natural. The only thing is that how you respond to those distractions. Uh, like what I did was that I gave my laptop and my phone to my teachers at Akash. Uh, my teachers were very cooperative. They understood my situation. They helped me to cope with it. And then I took, uh, I bought a keypad phone, and then that helped me to gain back my momentum into studies. So that was very helpful. That's a very mature and a smart way of handling and dealing with your distractions. So well done on that. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite subject? Uh, initially, I had my favorite subject which was physics, but after the course of time, after studying for like one and a half year for the NEET syllabus, I realized that it doesn't matter if you have a favorite subject or not, you have to give equal importance to every subject because every subject has the equal marks. 
and sometimes even those chapters that you find boring you have to study them and even in physics there are not very chapters that i am interested in i have to still study those so i realized that you still have to study and eventually uh, my pattern from studying from an interested subject was to a balanced approach well said yeah. well said let's talk a little bit about your uh, preparation strategy did you refer to course material apart from ncert also oh yes ma'am okay the modules at akash they are very helpful they contain level 1 and level 2 those questions are very helpful to build concepts from the scratch like you are taught some concept in class you do a few questions and then when you start from the modules they are very helpful for you know introducing those concepts to you so doing that is must because uh, that's the only way you can prepare for neat attempting questions and akash modules provides you with plenty of questions so reading module once and then attempting those questions would be very helpful so of all the features that akash offers yeah which one did you find the best and how was that experience for you the questions provided in the modules i found them the best okay so that really did shape up your uh, achievement journey uh, yes ma'am okay now we understand that uh, neat 2025 paper was tougher as compared to the previous years did that push you or influence you to change your exam attempting strategy i think the students would be very curious to know this yeah so i attempted my every exam starting from physics then chemistry and then biology i did the same during my neat exam the only difference was i was attempting the question questions thinking that the paper would be in the line of neat 2024 so initially the first five questions in the physics paper i gave them plenty of time more than they needed but later on i realized that this paper is very lengthy and so i rushed so i changed a bit of my time management strategy during the exam another subject preference but yeah then i rushed through the paper i completed my physics uh, around 1 or 10 minutes and then i was left with six or seven questions i completed my chemistry and biology in one hour so i was left with 50 minutes and around 10 to 12 questions were remaining so i completed those in half an hour and then the remaining 20 minutes i gave for omr circling so this goes to say that it's not uh, just how you prepare but uh, it's a bit of intelligence and presence of mind that one also needs to have when you are there in the real moment and attempting that exam which is what krishan did if there was one advice that you had to give to the future neat aspirants what would that be so for chapters like in organic chemistry and biology where you have to remember a lot i would suggest to repeatedly read those chapters because the more times you read the more times it it hits your memory and the longer it uh, the longer you remember it so that would be very important and the second point would be to note down your silly mistakes because they are not so random your silly mistakes are quite common so if you keep on revising your silly mistakes your accuracy increases very much in your exams and i would suggest to conceptually understand every concept and to attempt practice questions till you are comfortable with all types of questions so that your speed also increases that's wonderful advice thank you so much for answering all our questions and wishing you, you hearty congratulations once again thank you ma'am now this journey tells us that an all india rank 3 doesn't come only with intelligence it also comes with self control remaining grounded and also being smart so all the future aspirants out there do remember to avoid distractions stay consistent and let the journey keep going on